from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 503 for Thursday, August 17th, 2023. This week we have banter, <laughs> news, updates, a new limited edition platinum, new ST DuPont Defi Millenniums, a batch of cool mechanical pencils, a contest winner, a new contest, and Visconti, Shikiori, and Sailor items that are all coming soon. I'm exhausted. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Brian. In what key do cows sing? I don't know. Beef flat. Ha 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 ha. Great. Good for you, honey. It's very funny. All right. Our location bumper this week is Summit Park in Appleton. Uh, we've never been. We should, we should drive around to find these places. It is a um, neighborhood green space with an accessible playground and lighted courts for tennis and basketball. And it is just under one mile from our Anderson Penn store location. Quick drive or easy walk or bike ride. Yeah, yeah. There Eight tenths of a mile, it's about four minutes. Great. Uh, Saturday, August 19th is National Honey Bee Awareness Day. This is great. Uh, this is an awareness day when beekeepers, beekeeping clubs and associations and honeybee enthusiasts across the United States celebrate honeybees and recognize their contribution to humans' everyday lives as a means of protecting this critical species. National Honey Bee Day also pays homage to beekeepers whose labors ensure there are well-managed, healthy bees to pollinate crops. That's cool. I will be having honey on my toast that day. I love honeybees. Uh, we do have some news. Uh, Hobonichi reminder. Sign up to be notified when Hobonichi is available. Um, definitely subscribe to the newsletter, uh, which is um, on any page on andersonpens.com. Still looking at August 25th, uh, thereabouts, for the release date. and um, For the release date of when we can the, show, show you what the new patterns are for the covers for There's this year. There's some cute ones. So. Uh, Super and, exciting. Uh, and uh, they should be they should be actually shipping very soon. So they we go through a process every year and they request... Um, what our preferred shipping method is, and then shortly after that, then they send us tracking. So, uh, fingers crossed, uh, it will. Some years we get actually the product before September first. Some years it comes after. So, um, just uh, as a reminder that shipping usually occurs within the first two weeks of uh, September. So it doesn't always ship on September first. And we this is and you can't use it till December first anyway. You can't. So. Um, <laughs> We do process orders really, really slowly on purpose because I wouldn't say slowly. I'd say carefully. Carefully, but carefully. but certainly not super fast. We don't just grab it and go. Um, we also have been doing this for several years now. So each year we we find ways to improve. And um, in the new store, we have a lot more room to spread out and and um, organize things differently. So we're excited about that. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, new reminder, uh, Pilot Vanishing Point Limited Edition 2023 Conriki. Uh, make sure to sign up to be notified when this pen is in stock. They, we did get a preliminary allocation um, of which many of, many many of, of them those are already are spoken already, for. Already spoken for. Um, but uh, if, if you're interested in one, uh, sign up and uh, you'll get a notification once they are available. Uh, there is only one of the uh, Esterbrook J Lotus Green left in stock, um, and there will be no more. That's the Ebonite. Oh, sorry, Ebonite. the Ebonite, Lotus the Lotus Green, Green Ebonite. Ebonite. Yes. Um, so if that is talking to you, grab it now. Uh, and I am going to, I think we are actually getting some more of the antique rose. The antique rose. So but no, we, more the, no more uh, of the Lotus, Lotus Green, Green Ebonite. Yeah. So the antique rose, we may get more. The Lotus Green Ebonite, this is it. Yep. Um, and there's only one, and this is killing me. This is just it's killing me. There's only one left of the Visconti Earth, uh, the Homo sapiens Earth Origins water pen, and it's just to die for. It's so a nice looking pen. If somebody could please buy that so that I don't take it home, I would really personally appreciate it because it's just 
gorgeous. Sorry, I needed a moment. <laughs> Justin. Uh, new Platinum Limited Edition Uroko Gumo, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, so this is a, a new pen, and I've got it right here. It actually comes in a lovely box set. Cute. And we'll just... We'll dis we'll Let me play Vanna White. Well, there'll be. Um, this is part of a new series. So similar to in the past, the Lake series, this is part of a new Fuji series called the Fuji Unke, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, apologies if it's not. Uh, and this leverages a new decorative cutting technique um, on the barrel uh, to capture the beauty and uniqueness of cirrocumulus uh, clouds, which is what Uroko Gumo is. Uh, it incorporates slight indentations, it produces a complex play of light and reflection. Uh, so it's a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat pattern. Uh, and then this is the first bicolor design that Platinum has ever made. And it comes with a stylish blue-gray cap, um, which represents the surface of Mount Fuji, uh, colored by seasons and time. It's actually a really great color. That's a great uh, color. I kind of wish we'd have a whole pen in that color. That would be pretty cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, I don't have it here, but the, the Custom 74 and that, and then that dark blue stone. Blue, blue stone. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but nice looking pen. Uh, and it comes with a uh, package. You get the converter, a cartridge, and then a new, uh, a new bottled ink. In a really cool bottle. Um, called Akafuji. Uh, and this is based off of a painting, but it's a green color ink that uh, appears to change, uh, changes to a reddish tint hmm. when it dries. So, um, And that is not available separately. Yeah, it's not available separately. So it comes just with the Oroko Gumo. So uh, those are available. We have a very small selection, extra fine and fine nibs available. Um, and so the Lake series had the um, engraving on the inside of the barrel, if I'm... Uh, was it? No, it was, it was on the outside. Was it? was it? a cap okay. and barrel, that, but it matched. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is really cool. Yeah, it's a it's, neat, it's neat, neat looking deep part. enough that you can feel it, but it's definitely not sharp enough that it digs into your fingers. So that is a really pretty color. No, that's pretty cool. All right. So that's just in. Also, just in something Brian's been. This is this is cool. Eyeing. We had these. We had these at the the grand opening. We did uh, the new St. Dupont Defi Millennium, uh, chrome and black and matte and uh, and shiny black. And these come in a fountain pen and a ballpoint. Um, it's got a this got a new updated look for this Defi. Um, so we've got uh, brushed chrome or the black glossy lacquer body, accented by this cool matte uh, black plated cap and trim. It is cool. And it's got a new ergonomic design that is perfect for everyday use. So the barrel tapers slightly and features, uh, what's it say? The ST DuPont signature logo just above the grip section. So yeah, it's got it right here. Yep. And then of course Very the D cool. logo on the cap. Yep. Um, they feature these vertical line engravings on the cap. I do like that. And it's got this articulated clip. So this really, you know, if you've got a thick shirt pocket or something or a jacket, you can tuck it in there. And, of course, it's a, a hooded nib. Really cool hooded nib. With That's a medium, medium steel nib, and uh, it, it's really, really smooth. We've tried a number of these in the store, and they're, they're really nice. Um, of course, magnetic cap ensures a tight seal. And um, it does post. Yep. And uh, it's available in a fountain pen and, of course, also in a rollerball. And it's you cool. Said I like this. Ballpoint before. Did I say ballpoint? You I said did. Rollerball. Rollerball. Yeah. Ball pen and rollerball. All right. So, cool new new addition to the Defi Millennium line. Those have been been quite popular, and they're at a, a really nice uh, price point. Are any of those finding their way into your collection, or are you just going to drool over them when we're in? the No, store? because I got um, I got a pen reserved for me. Which one? The other day, it's sitting on the kitchen table. Really? Yes. Do I know about this? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you told me to go grab it. We'll talk about oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in a future in a, few, yeah. in a future podcast. All right. So Justin and Gone, um, the Platinum Chokuro Ink, the blacker than blacker than black ink. Um, we got in our 
Uh, most recent shipment sold out. We have ordered more. Yep. Um, apparently, it is the blackest ink ever created from platinum in its 104-year history. Um, an ink that's blacker than black and 46.8% darker than platinum's famous carbon black, which is pretty damn black. Yep. Um, this new permanent ink from platinum is going to set the new standard of what is possible from permanent ink in the fountain pen market. Yep, and uh, more will be available in September. All right, also just in uh, new Koenor Rapidomatic Mechanical Pencils. Um, and the Koenor Rapidic, uh, Rapidomatic Mechanical Pencil comes in a 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0 0.9 uh, lead sizes. It features a metal knurled grip area, which I really like because this one, uh, very similar to the, the Graph Gear 500, then that has a plastic body with a metal grip section, but this one has a little bit more of a kind of like a, a micro cut. Micro neural. Micro neural, I guess. <laughs> um, and and, it, and it, it really is very grippy. It's not as slippery as the, the Graph Gear 500. Right. I really like it a lot. Um, it's got a lead degree indicator uh, on the color coded hexagonal barrel and a sturdy metal clip. Um, then, of course, there's a push button at the top, and then there's oh, an nice. eraser under the knurled area awesome. um, below the push button. But uh, for those of you looking for a, a, a just something different, uh, I, I really like it. And what really struck me with these is, is this, this this knurling on the on the bottom. It's very grippy. It's it, it, If you have a pencil that you like, but it, it's it's slippery, especially if your hands um, you know get warm. And then it, this thing is really great. It just grips. It's, I don't know. I'm excited about it. It's, it's, it's cool. It's so cute to see you excited about a pencil. Uh, we had a contest last APTV. We did. In honor of Left -handers, International Left Handers Day, which was August 13th, do you have a recommendation for a quick drying ink or any other recommendation for lefty tools? Uh, lefty scissors. <laughs> that is a thing. It is a thing. Garrett I mean, had those when he was little. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jorge Nightwalker says, not only am I a lefty, my birthday is also August 13th. Very oh, cool. Nice. Happy birthday. I found out about International Lefty Day when I was in high school. This is a cool random fact that no one I know appreciates like I do. <laughs> well, yeah. Very nice. Uh, Tom Morley says, Private Reserve has a whole line of fast dry inks with some interesting colors. American blue, tanzanite, etc. Actually, a right lefty, but I am an I am an underwriter, so fast drying is not an issue. Please note that we do carry Private Reserve fast drying inks. Uh, they come in Ultra Black, Tanzanite, Sherwood Green, Midnight Blues, Chocolat, and American Blue. All right, Speedbird says, thanks for another great video. Super excited about the loyalty program. So are we. Uh, I'm a left-hander, but hold my pen like a right-hander, so don't have any issues with smearing, etc. I've tried some nibs that were recommended for lefties, and I love the Pilot Waverly nib that comes on the Custom 912. Can't recommend this pen and nib enough. Uh, a quick tip is not to use a highly coated paper. Use something that absorbs the ink somewhat, more of a mid-range paper, rather than a really high quality one. So, good tip. Interesting, yep. Uh, Summer Pearl says, my pen pal is a lefty and finds that using paper with some tooth to it, so there was yep. a follow-up there. Uh, some tooth to it speeds up the drying of her inks and minimizes smearing despite her penchant for broad nibs and wild shimmery inks. Another fun episode to watch. You guys enjoy what you do. Thank you much. Thank you. Emily Snope says, not a lefty, but my Pelican 4001 inks seem a bit drier and quicker to dry than most. So good to know. Uh, Tim Chi says, hello, pen peeps. <laughs> For the lefty, which my son is, Parker Quink ink is a quick dry ink, thus the name. Uh, some other tips is to use a finer, extra fine nib, and placing the paper left of your body can help. Oh, and a little smear and ink on your hand is no big deal. Even happens to righties. Happy lefty day. Nice. Uh, the winner is Hoyt Robertson. Uh, he says, left recommendation, underwriting. Keep your hand below the line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brian says he can't win, but he already has with Lisa. Aww. Aww. How much right. did you pay him to say uh, that? Congratulations. <laughs> uh, write to Eric at AndersonPens.com. 
uh, for your seven thousand dollar. No, I'm just kidding. It's your twenty dollar, <laughs> twenty dollar um, credit to your Anderson Pens account. And we do have a couple other comments. Um, Mr. Cat says, "I love Hobonichi Day. I'm very excited to see what the new covers are." And you're gonna love them. Yes, guarantee it. Yeah. Uh, William Brockman, another fine episode. Lisa and Brian, thanks for the consistent, high-quality content and production. And Paul Herman, who, if I recall correctly, always likes to contribute some joke. I, I'm guessing to Atta improve boy. your joke quality. It's not to improve. It's to supplement. <laughs> it's to supplement. Good morning, Brian and Lisa. Happy S'mores Day. Awesome. August 10th. That's a good joke. How much do s'mores weigh? A couple, at least, at a, least couple a couple of grams. grams. <laughs> yeah, nice. All right. <laughs> Very good. All right. We have a new contest uh, survey. Have you personally been the gateway or enabler for anyone else's love of fountain pens? And tell us all about it. Uh, I'm going to say uh, yes. You have? One. Who? And he's sitting in the back right now. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> yes. Um, I was part of it anyway. Yeah. Um, One commenter will be chosen at random to win a $20 credit on his or her Anderson Pens account. A uh, whole bunch of things coming soon. Some of these are really very cool. Uh, the Diamine 2023 Ink Vent Calendar. This year is the purple edition. Um, the Diamine Ink Vent Purple Edition Calendar for 2023. Uh, count down the days until Christmas by opening one door each day to reveal a 12 milliliter bottle of never before seen ink. And then the final day reveals, reveals a 30 mil bottle to finish off the surprise. All 25 colors, just like the past couple years, are new colors and formulas. And they include shimmer, sheen, scent, sheen. Uh, Shimmer and Sheen and Scent and Sheen and Chameleon and Chameleon and Sheen or cool new standard formula inks. Standard formula seems boring at this point, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, it's limited for sure, so um, it'll be a collector's set. Yes. All right. Uh, next up, uh, Visconti Opera Master Essence Firestorm and Stargazer. Oh. Uh, so Visconti is thrilled to announce its latest launch. The Opera Master Essence Collection, a collaboration with uh, renowned resin artist Jonathan Brooks. And he really is. He he's, does. He's been doing some really great really stuff. He's really done some amazing things. Um, it's a tribute to Visconti's exceptional craftsmanship and attention to detail, along with Brooks' incredible resin mixes. Uh, ignite your creativity with the rosy and golden hues of the firestorm, or experience a piece of the universe with the scintillating greens and blues of the stargazer. Uh, the Opera Master Stargazer is a glimmering resin that evokes a sense of otherworldliness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With its various blue hues and vibrant green colors trimmed in palladium. I like that one a lot. Uh, the Opera Master Firestorm is a rich resin. With its deep red and brown hues, accented by golden shimmer and fitted with rose gold trim. That makes sense. Uh, so the Visconti name on the Ponte Vecchio clip is filled with subtle sparkly enamel. That's cool. cool. Uh, and it accents the resin color palette well. So there are 88 pieces, limited edition. Yes. Uh, it's available extra fine, fine, medium, broad stub nibs, 18-karat uh, uh, white gold nib on the Stargazer, and 18-karat rose gold nib on the Firestorm. So those should be coming in uh, pretty soon. Yes. These are going to be very, very, very limited. If you are interested, definitely reach out. Yep. Uh, also coming soon, Sailor Shikiori Fairy Tales inks. Uh, the Princess Crane Quill uh, is Good like luck. a. I'm, <laughs> I'm just not going to try that. Um, yeah. Kazakiribane. Look at you. Uh, sort of like a dark gray that leans purple. Um, Princess Headdress is a dark green. Magpies is sort of like a teal. And Forbidden Treasure Chest is a blue. These inks are designed to match Sailor's line of fairy tale Pro Gear Slim fountain pens. Um, and got, for that, couple, we yeah. do have, um, I think, the Grateful Crane pen in stock at the moment. Yep. All right, coming soon. And the last, uh, I think this is the last one we got here for coming soon. Uh, this is coming at the end of the month or within the next couple of weeks. Uh, the Sailor Luminous Shadow Grove Green and Storm Blue. These are King of Pen size pens. 
Um, the Luminous Shadow Collection was crafted with meticulous attention to detail each pen, glowing with a touch of mystique. Ooh. So let's get into it with these pens named after captivating shades of light. Night. Of night. Storm Blue is a curling blue and white design that mimics the way light and shadow plays off of deep storm clouds high in the sky. So you could get that one with the Iroko Gumo. It is really pretty. You have <laughs> clouds. Grove Green with its rolling green, white, and black transports you into a deep forest glade surrounded by the shadows of the trees around you. That sounds spooky. Um, not only do these designs feature a rare, highly sought after marbled body and cap design, they are also complemented by the finest award-winning 21 karat gold sailor nibs. Uh, and again, these are king of pen size, so it's the king of pen nib. Uh, even more captivating, captivating, the nibs are made with the sleek black ion plating to complement black ion plated accents for a subtle elite looking contrast. Cool. Um, very, very limited quantity. So if you're interested in those, sign up for the back and stock notification uh, when they come in. Should be within the next couple of weeks. Do you have anything else? Are any like of these add? coming home with you? Nope. Nope. I told you. I've, I've got one pen that I've got picked out. Okay. I have this on video yep. that you said no. I, no, I'm, I'm not going to take one of these. Okay. I'm very, very particular these days. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens, and please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.